Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Laser Noob. My name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. So I had a request on Discord the other day and I'm just getting out, getting around and getting it done. So somebody told me that they had seen a video on YouTube and they said copper could not be done. I don't know what method they tried or whatever, but copper can be done And we're going to show you today. So basically what I've done is I have taken a piece, an old piece of ACR copper that is for refrigeration. It's from a job I did years ago. So I cut a piece off of that, sanded it real nice so it's all nice and clean. You can tell the difference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to coat it with dry molly. We're gonna take it inside. We're gonna put it on the rotary with the X-Tool D110 watt. And we're actually gonna be using laser box today with the rotary. So stick around and let's see how it turns out. Okay, so the reason I'm using laser box, um, I've got XCS downloaded, but I haven't really messed with it a whole lot. And I've already got a ton of files in laser box, basic. Um, I don't even know if they transfer over. I haven't even bothered yet. So, but the reason laser box instead of light burn is that I've been having some issues trying to get my rotary set up in light burn. Uh, the settings just don't seem to be right that uh, I've seen the videos from from uh, light burn and they just they don't match so I'm sticking with laser box to do it until I get that dialed in so anyway what we're gonna do here is I have already imported what I want to burn so uh, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click on that and I'm gonna have stainless steel setting with 100% power at four millimeters a second okay we're gonna do one pass and this is the size that I want um, it is bi-directional engraving and we're going to do 100 lines per centimeter. Uh, it's already going to take a long time to do this with copper and dry molly. It's very slow with the D110 watt. So, and you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. So, uh, sharpness, I'm just leaving at 50%. I mean, we're just doing a test. So now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit the start button. Okay. Uh, the, and these settings can be used in Lightburn if you've already got your rotary dialed into Lightburn. There's no reason why these exact same power and speed settings won't work for you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame it. I'm going to click in the middle, which is where I want it to start framing. And we're going to frame it. All right, now that looks good. And you'll notice that this is going, because it's fill, it's going to engrave all of this black stuff 248 minutes. I mean, that is over four hours. So we'll see. I mean, usually it, it estimates it a little bit higher than what it actually takes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to just leave that setting. I'm going to do it. I'm going to record the whole, uh, most of it. I I'm not going to sit here and try and record four hours of this, but you, you'll see how it starts. And towards midway, I might shut the camera off for a little bit and let it rest. But so anyway, with that, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to have our, our laser centered. We've got our height set. Uh, we have got our protective goggles on. Mm. Always have those on. And we're going to go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was quite a bit quicker than what it originally showed. Uh, it was telling me it was going to take about a little bit over four hours. It ended up taking about two and a half. So let's go ahead and take that. We'll clean it up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so we've got our copper is all done. We're going to take a little bit of lacquer thinner and a, a, just a t-shirt that I've screwed up doing some other stuff. So we'll get a little bit of lacquer thinner on there. And we'll just take that. It takes a little bit, but it, it does come off pretty easily. Turn it over. All right, so there you go. Dry molly on some copper. Takes a while to get it done, but it does it. Okay, so I ended up doing the burn twice. So it took me about five hours. The reason behind it is it the first time I did it, I cleaned all the, the dry molly off with lacquer thinner. And I had this haze that was on there, almost like it had etched the copper. And the, the laser noob turned out, a, it, I mean, it was a, it came out a little soft, uh, you know, a little faded. So I went ahead and did it again. And this time I cleaned it off with, with acetone, okay? And it actually, now ignore this because my mic died earlier and I did a test on camera to see, but if you just look at the L there, the L and the A, this actually with the acetone came out darker than cleaning it with, with the lacquer thinner. So, but again, it was hazed and I'm like, okay, so the chemicals are hazing the copper. Um, but then I had also done a test earlier. I just did a speed power test and I did it with dry molly and then I did it with heirloom white, uh, two times, uh, paint spray or spray paint. Um, and I wanted to see if, if that would do it cause it works on white tiles. So I'm like, Hey, maybe it'll work on copper. I don't know. We'll try. So it, it did absolutely nothing, but when I went back and looked at this after I'd already cleaned that off, I cleaned this off with lacquer thinner and there's zero hazing. So number one, that tells me that the dry molly is actually etching the copper and causing it to haze. So then what I did is like, okay, what I want to do is I want to see if I can clean it out. I'm going to take a pressure washer to it, you know, 1500 PSI and see if that'll knock the dry molly off it with no chemical. Um, no, it, it doesn't work. So the dry molly stays on there um, and, and it was still etched. So where I, I did a little speed power test and it just says 100 millimeters a second at, or 100% power at four millimeters a second. Um, so then what I did is I wanted to do a test on that. I'm like, let's see if I can get rid of some of this hazing with no chemicals. So I took a melamine sponge or magic eraser and I took that to where it says 100% power at four millimeters a second. And you can kind of see still maybe the 100. So this is what I did on, on the last one before my mic died is I took a melamine sponge water put some water on that melamine sponge a 
we'll take that copper little scrubbing so now let's dry it off that that is a laser noob with uh, where I did it with I cleaned it with acetone melamine sponge took it right off that's or I'm sorry lacquer thinner this is the one I cleaned with acetone I didn't scrub it nearly as long, but it, I mean, you see, so my, my big problem with dry molly and copper is, is one, the, the dry molly etches the copper and discolors the copper. Two, um, it's not permanent. I mean, yeah, I took a 1500 PSI pressure washer to it and it didn't knock it off, but a melamine sponge took it right off in a few seconds. You guys just saw. So I'm going to have to say that dry molly and copper are just a no-go. I mean, unless somebody else can show me what they did, if they did something before they put the dry molly on or after. So the only thing I can think of for copper is I went on enduramark.com. I have that pulled up right here. And I went to their metal marking. And they do have uh, the laser marking spray. Um, it's black. I went on their Facebook page. It does say that it can be used on copper, but you got to slow it way down, which is fine because we just ran that at four millimeters a second. So, you, I mean, you're not going to get much slower than that. I mean, that's a D110 watt non-pro. So, but my issue is, is that this is $60 a can. $59.99 and there's one shipping option it's two business days and it's $26 so that little 16 ounce can or whatever and this it's the same thing with the Enduramark charcoal spray for glass and ceramic same dang thing I mean you're, you're spending almost $80 for a spray can about yay big and it doesn't do very much so until that price comes down I'm not buying that stuff. So at this point in time, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just not going to do copper because all I have is a D110 watt. Um, and I haven't seen anything else that marks it better. We know white spray paint doesn't do it. We know dry molly discolors it. It actually etches the copper. So I don't know. I'll keep looking into it and see what I can find out. But until then, I got to say dry molly and copper is a no-go. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the mic died again. Uh, so Anyway. Hey, guys, thanks again. I appreciate everybody watching. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm on a different camera. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be pointing now. Uh, so hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, wherever it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day.